So you've got some great examples in terms of what South Africa, South African business actually goes through in terms of getting hmm. goods out of the country yep. and relative to the negotiations that have been made with other economies, taking China <coughs> as an example. Yeah, I, I think from a business perspective, uh, you know, what, what would business say it wants from the authorities and from, uh, and from government? Um, and if you said, what was the one thing Standard Bank would, would suggest or if Sim would, would, would make a case for, well, I'd say, well, why don't you have a free trade uh, area throughout the continent? Reduce uh, trade barriers um, would be the, the one big thing we would, uh, would argue for. Um, South Africa has got comparative advantage in financial services. Why don't we leverage that to South Africa? The JSE is the top-ranked uh, stock exchange in the world. The banks in South Africa are rated the second safest uh, and soundest uh, in the world. Uh, we've got deep capital markets, uh, and the continent actually needs deep capital markets as a precondition to, in fact, the rollout of infrastructure. Uh, we in deep conversations uh, for that purpose, and this three days gives us an opportunity to deepen those, those conversations. Let's look at what you're expecting with regards to Africa, Africa growth and uh, the role that BRICS nations are going to play in infrastructure spending, in information sharing, in ICT and so forth. Eleni, as African people become healthier, um, they become better educated and they become wealthier, there are going to be increasing opportunities for consumer facing businesses whether those businesses are South African or from the BRICS or from other African countries. Uh, the second proposition I think which is true is that as Africa rebuilds its infrastructure, the story we spoke about earlier on, the, the tragedy of how long it takes to move goods from Johannesburg to Lusaka um, has to be addressed and, and it currently is. The same story applies to, to electricity. The two countries amongst those five uh, amongst those BRICs with the capacity and the excess capacity, the Brazilians and the, and the Chinese are providing a lot of the, the plant, the machinery, and indeed the, the finance uh, for the build out of that infrastructure. And we should expect then all businesses, whether it's construction companies, engineering <coughs> companies, infrastructure companies, ICT, um, those should benefit if they are correctly positioned. Our jobs as banks is, of course, to facilitate that activity. Um, to place ourselves in a position to intermediate between Brazilian companies looking for opportunities in Mozambique or in Lusophone, Africa. Uh, China, Sino Africa trade and investment to try and sit on both sides of it, the same with India and, uh, and Russia.